Okay, guys, so I've got a Laravel installation here, so I'm not going to go through installing Laravel or installing Filament, um, as I'm assuming you know how to do that. But if you don't, you can just come and do Compose a Create project, um, Laravel, and then also you can install Filament with this command here. Then you can run. Sorry, no, it's not that. It is actually the admin panel. So you can run this and then create a user. I have created a user and I've um, done that. So when we come to the um, admin area, we can log in there. So I'm just going to log in with my email. Um, if I can get the password correct. Okay, so I've logged in now. So basically, this is a brand new installation of a Laravel app. So like I said, I've done Laravel, I've done Filament, and I've also just installed Tailwind CSS into the app as well. So if you don't know, you can just, we've already created the, the um, project. So you can just run that command into that into your config file and just copy these into your apps CSS. So if we look at our Tailwind config here, you will see I've just pasted that in. If we go to app.css, we've done that. And we have our server running here, and we've also got our Vite running here in the back end. So everything is done on the um, installation side. Um, just to note, um, my database, I will just refresh here and you will see that there's one user there done there. So let us just go and look at what we're going to install. So we've said Fabricator and then I'm just also going to do Curator here. Um, just there was a comment in Discord when I said I will do a tutorial on this. Someone asked me to do this as well. So I thought, hey, what the heck, let's just do it for now. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to install Fabricator first. So we can just copy these commands. So I'm just going to go to the terminal and paste Fabricator there. And then we're going to install it. So we'll just wait for that. Okay, that's done. And we install it. Do you like to run the migrations? Yeah, we're going to do that now. So, no, I've done it already. But uh, so if we go back to our site and we just refresh, you will see that there's a pages there. We click on that we will see that we can create a new page but we will come back to that let's just install curator as well so let's just copy that command paste that in there um i'm not going to do the config now because i'm not really gonna do anything with the config in this video um i am at the later stage going to do maybe a full website on this and just show from start to finish how I would do this. This is just a basic introduction just to show, show you the workflow that that I have. So yes, we would like to install. Okay, so that's done. Let's just see, is there anything else that I need to do? No, that's it. So let's just go and refresh here and we'll see that there's a media. So in order for us to store things locally we need to just run a command um, storage link just to link that up and um, so that's done and if we go into our env also just remember to give your app a url there so that it can find the assets that you are uploading so let's just do a quick asset upload so this is like a media library so if you know wordpress you will know that there's also a media tab where you can upload media so this is the same concept there so what we're going to do is just going to upload one 
image so i've got i've got this from the filament actually website here so i'm just going to open that upload that and then we can do alt text and we can just say admin panel yeah title can also be admin panel we don't need caption or description now and we can just create this so that is basically it and that is how you upload media to that so the pages we have to do a few things before we get started first thing is we actually need to make a default layout you will see here that on the default layout we're not exactly going to use this i'm going to change this a little bit but this is where the blocks is being pulled in so it's got a page blocks here and it's just pulling in the, the page variable and it's getting all the blocks that you're going to do so it's going to make sense in a minute so let's just do a default layout here so i'm just going to copy and paste that so we can create that and if we go into our um, resources and views we will see components and there is our filament fabricator and there's our layout so if we see our layout here we can um see here is what we talked about so i'm going to actually change this a little bit i'm just going to use the the welcome we don't need uh this the rest i'm just gonna come down and i'm just gonna delete that sorry delete that as well um i'm just gonna say welcome yeah maybe later we need that as well but okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna paste that in here and i'm gonna leave that i'm just gonna copy that or cut it and then put it in here just uh clean it up a little bit then we can actually delete this so we need to keep that um, props there the page props and we're gonna have these blocks here so we go to the back end now again and we refresh this we can see that we can create a new page and we can see the default layout is there so let's just create say an about page and we can have a slug of about and we can have that and we create that so if we visit this there's literally going to be nothing here because we have nothing if we add blocks there is nothing in the blocks because we haven't created a block yet so let us just create a block not here so let us create a block so i'm gonna use a website here to to create my blocks because what i normally do is i actually design blocks like this and reuse it in my design so what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these these blocks say this call to action and we're going to make a call to action so let's start with that one so if i paste this in and i can just call it cta call to action press enter so that block is made so if we come to the 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 resources here and the views you will see that there is actually now a block here for contact um, for the call to action sorry and if you go to filament and page blocks you can see the cta is there the call to action is there and here is a schema where you can actually use uh, filaments uh, form builder um, elements to to make a scheme okay so we're going to build this call to action we basically going to have then the the front end looking like this uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to just actually copy this to clipboard co copy this uh this uh block and we're going to go to the front end and we're just going to go to this and we're just going to paste that in there that's it for now so let's just see that this is actually showing up in the the back end so basically we're going to build, build a page about page that is going to show on the front end and we're going to build it out with these blocks so like i said at the moment if we look at that page there's nothing there so um, normally you would actually go into your default here and you would um, add your header your navigation and your footer here you can 
do that also components and, and add that in there. And then all your blocks will be between them. So once again, let's just see that this block is now showing up. So you can see that call, call to action is showing up. If we just insert that, there's no fields at the moment, but let's just save that. And we can just go to the front end and just refresh here. And you can see that it's actually showing up. Our CSS is still not in there. So our CSS is not showing. So all we need to do is uh, link that. I haven't linked that yet. So we'll just do it here at the top. Um, I'm just gonna paste in that. So basically that is just putting in the CSS. And if we refresh this now, it should be showing. Okay, so there we have our call to action. So what we have here, we've got basically, now there's more things that you can do that yeah, because you can do the background, anything that you want to have been filled in by the, by the client, you can actually add here. So if you want like a background color that the, the client can choose here on all the blocks, you can do that. But what we want to do is we want to have a title and a button. So we're going to keep this very simple at the moment. And we're just going to have two fields here. So let us just go to our content block. And in the schema, we're going to use a form builder to build out a component for us with a title and a button this title as well. So let us just go to uh, filament here and we just go to our form builder. And we just basically going to have two. So all these fields you can use in there. So text input, we're just going to use a normal text input. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. So you want to come to the schema here and just paste that in uh, comma and we're going to paste it in again. And so this one is going to be title and I'm just going to call this button underscore text. Um, and let's just import that class. And that's basically it for that. So we've got two fields here. So if we look on the back end now and we refresh, you will see, okay, there's your title and um, your button text. So we can say this is a call to action. So we can say apply here now. Apply. And we can just save that. So, sorry, we need to give this page a name and a slug. And I don't know why this has changed now yeah, but okay, let's just save that. And it should be now saved. Now, you won't see anything change on the front end yet. So, let us just go to the front end now and we're going to say we need two props the first one is title and then the second one was button text then we can use these in the content here so we know this is the title so we can just do a blade variable here and we say title and on the button the button text Obviously, you would want to choose what type of button. So if it's a primary button or all these kinds of things, but I'm just keeping it simple now. So button underscore text. And uh, let's just go to the to the back end here. And I don't know why this actually did not save. So let's just try again. Say. So, Let's just save that. And then if we come and refresh and we can see there, let's just do something a little bit better than that. So let's just say start today. Uh, let's just keep it like that. Uh, you get the idea. So this is basically it. So now you can actually add another block if you want, another call to action if you want, and you can change this to title two and button two you can save the changes and you can come to the front end and there will be a, another button there so basically what i do is i make a 
lot of components that the client can use and I build out the website with these components. So beforehand I would actually design a, a in Figma a design and then I would have this components that I use reuse on on the website throughout and then this gives the, the, the client a place where he can change um, text and where he can change uh, images as well. I'm talking about images. Let's just go and do a, another block here. So what we're going to do is we're going to probably do this uh, hero here for now. Yeah, let's just do this hero. So we can copy this to clipboard and we can go and create another block. So let's just call this one hero. And once again, we can come in we can see that the Yero blade is there. I'm just going to paste that section that I just copied there in. We will change that now. So in the Yero, we can just copy this text input. Uh, so let's just see on the Yero actually what we need. So let's just preview again. So we need a title, we need a content, we need buttons and a image. So this is where we're going to use Curator to, to do this image for us. So let's just do the content. We can start with that. So we can keep it at title. We can just go to filament. I can't remember all these. I don't work with filament that much. So I, I have to go to the documentation a lot and just see what there is again. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use text area and we can just copy that one text area. Um, or yeah, let's just do a text area for now. But you can actually use a rich text area there as well, but we're not going to do that now. So let's just say that's description and we can keep it at description. And let's just see quickly again. So there's some buttons. I'm, I'm just going to do a repeater field here and we're just going to do button text as well again. So let's just go at the top and we just look for a repeater. I'm just going to copy a more simple one here. And let's just copy this one here. And we can just paste this in. And I'm just going to do that. And let's just call this buttons. And the button is going to have, OK, sorry, there is already a, uh, we can just say button text here as well. And let's just import that classes so that we know that filament is being pulled in there, the correct form. And now we're actually going to use the curator. So if we go to the curator and we look at an example here, we can just copy and paste this example here. So we copy that and we're going to paste that in after this repeater field. Uh, let's just do the correct indention there. So we're going to go and we're going to say, yeah, we just call this image. So we update that. Uh, the label is just going to say, maybe that's going to say Euro image. Uh, the button label is just going to say maybe upload image. Let's just do a primary button for now. Outline, we can say false. We don't want the outline. And we can just say a medium button fit content. Yeah, we can say that true. And let's just import this class as well. So there we have our basic euro. So we've got our title, text area, our buttons that we're going to put in, and our media picker. So if we go back to our hero again, we're going to add these props. So it's title and a description. Description. And uh, let's just see here, uh, buttons. And uh, the other thing was image, image. So let's just start with the title. I'm just going to delete this and I'm just going to again add the title here. 
let's just actually go and add a block here before I get too into that. So let's just delete this call to action. We don't need that now. Let's just add a hero block here. And I want the hero to move above. Uh, do I drag it? Okay, yeah, I just drag it. So I can save that. Let's just call this hero. Uh, I don't know if they have here. Yeah, let's just. Okay, but we don't want it the same. We want it actually changed. Let's just say hero title. I'm not really good now with descriptions here. Description, we can just say maybe this first line here so that we have something there. And then the button, we can. Okay, there is one button there, and we can just say by now, maybe, and then our hero image. So, our hero image, we did upload that media picker earlier on so if you want a new image you can just browse here and add that file onto here or you can select a, a, a ready-made or already uploaded image so that's what i'm going to do here so i'm going to use selected and um, it is there now so all the things is there i'm going to just save it we're going to go to the page here refresh it and uh, it looks a bit wonky here but uh, we will change that now so let us go to the paragraph and we can just say description here. Yeah. And then, then we're going to have a for each here. Yeah. So for each. And we're going to say buttons as button. And then I'm just going to cut this and paste this in here that one i'm going to button cut and delete sorry and then uh, all we want to do here is have that button variable because now it's putting in if you remember it's buttons so it's getting the array here so we want to pull that in so we can say image here sorry button button and this is an array and we want button text. Uh, we want that. Okay. And then the image, we are actually going to use a curator block here or component. So I'm going to show you that. Um, we're going to go to the front here and we're going to go to the GitHub page. Yeah. And you can see there's on the uh, curator get up page here yeah? we can just move down and then you will see there's actually a blade um, helper here yeah? so we can actually copy that and we're going to use that so if we go into the component here yeah? we can just delete that or actually maybe we're going to use the styling here yeah? and uh, we can just copy that styling um, I'm just going to leave the rest. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually dump the image here. Uh, sorry, die dump the image. Just to see actually what is the, the media ID. But we can also just add the image there. But let's just see quickly. I, I just want to show you quickly if we die down that, you will see number one. So this is number one. So what we're going to do is we can just add that to here. The image there. And if we refresh now again, we can see that there is the styling, but it doesn't look exactly like this why doesn't it look like that so there's something wrong with the styling here let me just see quickly here your code did i copy this correctly oops i want to open that uh okay actually let's just do this uh let's just stop the beat and just run it again um it might be that all the things did not correctly. Yeah, so there it is working now. 
So we can see by now here a title and there's the first one and there's the image. So this is basically my workflow for how I would build out pages for a client. So the client can come in here. You can see, okay, here is the hero section. Here is the call to action section. And if he wants to change the text here, you can change the text. You cannot really work on the layout, but that is what I like to do. I don't want a client to mess with the layout. So that's why things like uh, uh, Elementor on WordPress and these uh, page builders, I'm not really um, a big fan of those because um, I've had too many experiences of clients where they come in and they break the website and then it's just a mess. So this is for me a cleaner way of doing things. These blocks and I predefined, I, I um, build out the block exactly how I want it and I just add the fields and the, the client can then um, insert the field. So I hope this makes sense to you. This is just like a short introduction to how I would build out these pages and then uh, have the client uh, do that. So just a last thing, I just want to show you that actually the other pages, so we've got this welcome page. So um, if we go to the front end and we just go to the root, yeah, you can see that that is still actually also working. So then all the other routes, so if you do have pages where you don't want these block, um, this page builder, block page builder on, on it, and you can have normal pages as well. So thank you for watching and goodbye.